In this video, you'll learn how to locate viable solutions of inequalities graphically. What is a viable solution? A viable solution is a solution to a system of inequalities that makes sense both mathematically and based on the context. The first thing to determine if a solution is viable for a system of inequalities is to find the x and y intercept. After finding the values of the x and y intercepts, use these values to graph the line. Determine which side to shade based on the inequality. Identify the area where the shaded regions overlap. Any viable solutions to this system of inequalities will be found within this common region. To determine if a solution is viable, graph the ordered pair and determine if it falls within the region. If it does, and it makes sense within the context, it is a viable solution. If it does not fall within the region, it is not a viable solution. Solutions can be checked by substituting the numbers from the ordered pair into the inequalities. Let's look at an example. Lisa sells popcorn X and pretzels Y at a food stand. Popcorn is $2 and pretzels are $3. She makes at least $50 and sells more than 10 boxes of popcorn each game. Choose all viable solutions. In order to find the graph of our system of inequalities, we will first find the x and y intercepts. To solve, we let y equal 0 and solve for x. Then we let x equal 0 and solve for y. We will draw our line of 25 and 16.7. Next, we will draw our lines on the coordinate planes. x is greater than 10 will be a vertical line. Since x is greater than 10, we will shade to the right. The areas on the figure show where the shaded regions overlap. Any viable solutions to the system of inequalities will be found within this common region. To determine if a solution is viable, graph the ordered pairs and determine if they fall within the region. Choice A is 414. We can plot this point on the coordinate plane to see if it is a viable solution. This does not fall within our shaded region, so this is not a viable solution. We can cross out choice A. Choice B is 1210. Let's plot this point. This point does fall within the shaded region, so it is a viable solution. Circle choice B. Choice C is negative 8, 6. We can plot this point on the coordinate plane to see if it is a viable solution. This does not fall within our shaded region, so this is not a viable solution. We can cross out choice C. We can also think about the context of the problem. It is not possible to have sold negative 8 bags of popcorn, so even if the solution would have been in the shaded region, it would still not be viable. Choice D is 4, 10. This point does not fall within the shaded region or on the lines, and thus is not a viable solution. Let's go on to our next example. Nathan orders packages of whistles, X, and sunglasses, Y, for promotional giveaways for his booth at a fair. Each package of whistles costs $4, and a package of sunglasses costs $5. Nathan has $30 to spend on the items, and he wants to get at least four packages of whistles. The figure shows the solution set to the system of inequalities. Is 3, 6 a viable solution to show the number of packages of whistles and sunglasses during the fundraiser? Explain why or why not. We need to look at the image and determine if 3, 6 is a viable solution to this system of inequalities. In this problem, many of the steps are already completed for us. The system of inequalities have been solved and graphed. We know that viable solutions can be found in the shaded region and lines shown on the graph. We can graph the point 3, 6 on the coordinate plane and determine if it falls within the highlighted region or lines. This is not a viable solution because the solution 
does not fall within the shaded region or lines of the graft system of inequalities. It is important to remember that even when a point falls within the overlapping region on a coordinate plane, that if context is provided, it must apply to the context as well. A viable solution is a solution to a system of inequalities that makes sense both mathematically and based on the context. Now you know how to locate viable solutions of inequalities graphically. Thanks for watching.